Hi, it's me again with laser tips and tricks, and I just went out to the shop and did this key name tag or key bob, and the word is bird. I actually have an older sister nicknamed Bird, and everybody knows her by bird, so I just thought I'd go ahead and make her one since I was going to make cut it out and do a video. But this video is really about color mapping. Uh, the most important thing you can do in color mapping is make sure your colors are RGBs from your palette. So I've got two palettes open. This one is CY, CMYK and then this one is RGB. So in color mapping on an Epilog Fusion or an Epilog, you need to have the colors match. So we got green, we got red. Tell you what, let's curse it that out of the way for a second. And we got green, green 255. So we'll remember those numbers. We got green 255 and red 255. So in color mapping, you just go to, and I don't know about other lasers, but this is an epilogue print driver, and, and I think they're all kind of the same. When you go to preference right here, you can go to color, color mapping, and you check color mapping. And you notice the first color is red and it's 255, so we're correct. We're going to cut it out at 15 speed. I've already done it. And then after you, let's make it 10 speed just for the video. And then you hit this arrow key and it changed it to 10 speed. Then click on the green. And I'm going to engrave it at 100 power but 50 speed. And you can see it right there in the box. Then you hit OK and then you hit OK. And I'm not going to hit OK because I don't have a laser hooked up to this laptop. But it's going to do both for you. It's going to vector the green at 50 speed and it's going to vector the red at a at 10 now to cut it out. Inside of Epilogue's Fusion, and I'll just add this, you can actually change the focus and the offset. Uh, this can be a little difficult. I actually did it on this one and it worked. But unless you were doing a lot of them, I do not see the advantage. I don't even see the advantage to color mapping in this scenario. So what I would do is take your green and, and I'm having trouble selecting the green, so I'm just going to get it out of the way. But we've got our green where we want it. So I would go green and I would select it. I would go to print, press selected. You don't really have to because there's nothing else on the screen. And then go to preferences, vector, and then set your vector at, at 100 power at 50 speed. And then press OK. Then I would just take this green and mark it out, of the, take it out of the way, and I would cursor nudge down it's going to be in the exact same spot you always want to probably do this first so it won't move in case that falls out a little bit preferences and then vector at 100 power at 15 speed to cut that out and then press ok and it'll cut it out so it's a two process job and even if you were doing 25 of them I think this would be just as fast. And you can also change your focus on your green like a quarter of an inch up or an eighth of an inch up. And it'll get you a little bit thicker of a line than a normal hairline cut because the laser's out of focus. Now I ran this at 50. I could have ran it at 25. It's not going to cut all the way through. And it might give you a little bit more detail. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.